When a guy wearing a Hawaiian t-shirt jettisons from a plane dropping about 20 stories, pulling a tooth out of a giant ape, replacing it with something else, and then flying back up just as fast, I thought to myself, you know what, Adam? I don't think I should be taking this film very seriously. And I implore you to go in with that same mindset, because you too might very well leave the theater with a big dumb grin on your face, just like I did. Let's talk about Godzilla X Kong, The New Empire. I mean, that name alone should tell you this is not an intelligent film. Now I know what you're thinking. Anyone confident enough to rock a V-neck tee is worth subscribing to, and you're absolutely right. So why don't you swing your ass up to the subscribe button and punch that thing with a mechanical hand, just like Kong does in this film. And let's talk about this movie in a spoiler-free fashion. I will tell you, I will plan on doing a spoiler-filled one down the road. Just because I think it would be fun to talk about how absolutely bananas this movie is. But for this time, we'll just keep this very surface level as far as the plot and all the reveals go. All right, so top level, what do we have here? We have Kong living not his best life at Hollow Earth. He finds it ironically very hollow and himself. He's unable to really connect with anyone because he's the last of his kind, or so, so he thinks, until he runs into a couple of other apes, just his kind. And so that leads to that storyline. What's our big boy Godzilla doing? Well, he's back on top level Earth. Just he's, he's just sleeping, occasionally waking up to fight a Titan, and then he goes back to bed. You know, he gets tired. He eats, he sleeps, he kills, he maims. He's a busy guy, and he's Earth's kind of protector except for all the countless destruction and bodies he kills in his wake as he stops one of these monsters. But that that's neither here nor there, nor over there. Claws on the table. I'm a movie guy. I'm not a Godzilla guy. I'm not a Kong guy, although I have liked a little bit of each of their stuff. I'm a big fan of Kong Skull Island. I thought that movie was fantastic. Ever since then, these movies have steadily gone downhill with a very sharp decline coming in the last movie, Godzilla vs. Kong. I found that movie to be insultingly stupid. It didn't have a lot of fun moments for me until the final act. There was a lot of subplots that really didn't need to be there. And overall, it was just kind of a disaster for me and not in the fun way. Now, uh, I, I am a little bit well known for ruining this precious Rotten Tomato score for Godzilla Minus One. That was a big thing that happened last year. People were, uh, were very upset that I ruined the precious perfect score Godzilla Minus One had. I did not care for that movie. I will try watching it again with my family, mainly out of curiosity to see what, uh, what other normies think about this film and not these Godzilla purists. Regular folks watching the film. I want to see what they have to say. Uh, maybe I'll change my mind. It's happened. It's happened maybe three times in my existence on Earth, but it has happened. Godzilla, King of the Monsters, was fine. That's that's a decent one for me. It was okay. The previous one, the first American reboot one uh, with Brian Cranston, started out great, and then they killed Brian Cranston, and then it wasn't so great, and then it just kept getting worse because we we're focusing all this time on boring characters I didn't like. With this new movie... We have a good amount of time, and by good I mean a very good amount of time, spending with Godzilla and mainly with Kong. It's almost Planet of the Apes in a sense, because there's a lot of time dedicated to Kong, these new characters he's coming into contact with, the mystery surrounding them, and now he's going to have to overcome some obstacles. The villain that's teased, this evil ape, um, he's like a Despicable Me character. <laughs> he's just... He's so silly looking. He's not threatening. He's got this like bone chain that looks like it's a machine gun belt over him, but not. It's his whip that he spins around and it does something else, but I'm not going to spoil that. I just found him laughable and uh, not very threatening <clears throat> or ominous, just kind of there. But the whole movie is not threatening or ominous. It's just stupid fun. And when I say stupid, oh man, I mean it. It might be even dumber than the last movie. And that's okay, because it knows the tone it's going for, and it goes for it. I mean, it is over the freaking top. Action all over the place. Kaijus fighting kaijus. Apes fighting kaijus. Apes fighting apes. It, everything you can think of is in this film. There's some twists. There's some surprises. It's all really fucking dumb. So if you go into this 
hoping that you get something closer to Kong again, Skull Island? No. Kong Skull Island's legitimately, I think, a very good movie. I think it has characters that are likable. There are stakes there. There's tense situations. It's got beautiful cinematography. It has a tone. It's got a feel. It has this like awesome vibe to it. These new movies don't really have a visual style. They just look really nice. High res, polished 4K visuals but nothing that gives it really a unique identity. The music in this is serviceable. When those theme songs kick in, they kick in very well. There is some rock and roll songs infused. I don't think they use them well. I don't think they utilize them at the right points. I'll get into that more in the spoiler review, but one song kicks in, I'm like, oh shit, this is fun. I'm having a good time. And then they cut the song. They cut the song at the, at the refrain, at the best part, when I'm getting pumped up. Small hang-up, it, it, but it is it is a hang-up. It is something that detracts from the overall enjoyment. That said, I did enjoy this movie. I was having a blast. I felt like a kid. Something that Godzilla v. Kong was going for, but it did not work for me. I know it worked for other people, and that's good for you. That's fine. But this one got it for me. It doesn't waste a bunch of time on boring-ass human characters. They do exist. I found most of them likable. You have the comic relief one. You have the girl that's back from the last film, which I like. She's a very likable character. And even on the human side, it goes full-blown Looney Tunes bonkers insane. I, I don't even know. There's no way to have a realistic conversation with someone about the plot. Not a single person on this planet should defend any of the logic in this film because there's none to be found. And not only that, this movie has no interest in wasting any time on it. Say a person needs to get something accomplished, something in another movie, like a Christopher Nolan film, that would be the plot. But in this movie, it's 10 seconds in and out. Oh, I gotta go retrieve that and hook it to a plane and then drop it here and do all I'm done. I'm done already. No time is wasted on this. It really is a Saturday morning cartoon. So if you're looking for really big, loud, dumb action, this has it in spades. And I mean loud. There is yelling constantly. Kong is showing his dominance. Godzilla's doing it back. It's just non-stop. There's a lot of destruction in this one. There's some good tag team battles going on. Really, I mean, it's advertised exactly how it is. You have a Barbie-looking Godzilla lighting up, gamma radiation explosions. The thing's, the thing's pretty cool to watch. I will say that. It's pretty cool to watch. It's a fun time. There was surprisingly a little bit of heart in here. A little bit of emotion was getting pulled out of this one, which I appreciated. And man, we are very close to just getting rid of the pesky humans altogether. They almost do it. And that's why I say this has a Planet of the Apes vibe, especially when that little Kong Jr. character comes along and he has some one-on-one -on -one time with Kong who's looking grizzled. He's looking like a Kratos character from God of War. I wanted more of that. It worked really well. There's a lot being said in the facial animations. The animators are doing a hell of a job with this stuff and I appreciate it. Godzilla still... It's hard to animate him because, you know, he's a lizard. He doesn't show the range that uh, an ape can do. But uh, still, they got some stuff out of that. So overall, I was pleasantly surprised that I enjoyed this. Typically, it is really hard for me to get on board a movie that has no interest in making a lick of sense and just wants to smash things together. But if there's enough going on with the story, if there's characters I can root for, that's enough to keep me invested. And this had it. I mentioned a Despicable Me character earlier on. That's kind of how it feels. It feels almost like an Illumination movie at this point. Something that the whole family can enjoy. You go in, you get exactly what you paid for, you go away, and you don't really defend the movie to other people that don't like it. Because at the end of the day, what, what are we doing here? You know, it's an opinion. It's definitely going after an audience that's looking for something stupid and fun. And this delivers it. And for other people that are looking for that smarter, more intelligent Godzilla, well, you just got it with minus one. If that worked for you, which it did for a lot of people, you have it. Well, there you have my thoughts. If you're a subscriber, were you surprised? Let me know in the comments. I know I was. I was shocked, actually, that I enjoyed this one so much. I'm happy. I'm happy I did. And I'm actually excited to watch it again with my son, who's, I know, going to absolutely eat this up. 
Let me know. Comment below. Please subscribe if you haven't. I post tons of movie reviews every single week and not just the big blockbusters. I do a lot of the stuff streaming online. Sometimes I do a smaller film. It just depends. It just depends on the time I can make for it. Let me know. If you really want to support this one-man operation, join me on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. There's different tier levels that give you a lot of exclusive offerings now. It's really a great time and it really helps me out. Again, I do this alone, second, second job, and it's a lot of work. Oh, you could also do a super chat right below if you like the video. All right, hopefully I see you next time. Take care.